Derek with the Lemonix, Perth Thamboy, New Jersey. We see a little squirrel here. <laughs> see if we can see him pop his head up again. Ah, oh, he's hiding, playing peekaboo. Little, little critter. I hear him chewing back there. He's going up on this uh, roof. Eastern Gray Squirrel's got some calls for Eastern Gray Squirrel. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. Let's see where he's going to run. As soon as he sees me, he's going to start running. And, uh, let's see. Oh, he's in the trees. He's in the bushes. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's playing peekaboo with me. So, <clears throat> well, I mean, just because I see squirrels on the ground doesn't mean they're legitimately uh, nuisance uh, animals because they are only considered nuisance animals if they're creating structurally uh, invading and they're causing structural damage to the home. And then they're considered nuisance wildlife, which you could, there's certain guidelines that you have to abide by by the state of New Jersey, how you handle that. So, I'm just coming to the house and I was hoping maybe I see the squirrel going up uh, up this tree. I was hoping maybe I can catch it. And uh, so there's out, out foraging for food right now. So some people even feed him. He's coming. Some people even feed these suckers. And then, oh, he's got a nut. He's got a nut. And he's going to go... He's just checking me out. He doesn't trust me. <laughs> I think he's going to go up this tree here. I predict he's going up this tree. He's just staring at me. Oh, it's a standoff. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to try to these do go stealthy. He's going to try to stealthily go to his home. I think what they what he's doing, he's going to bury it. I guess they find their food. That's why he's staring at me. And uh, and they're gonna bury the nuts, I guess, during the day. Yeah, 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 you can see them digging. That's what they do, that's why you see all those little holes in, the, in your soil around your house in the morning. Because during the day, they're dig digging holes, so he's gonna put his nut in there. Now he's like, he sees me looking. <laughs> he's just gonna, well, I'm gonna bury it somewhere else. <laughs> it's very interesting behavior. I started learning about this later. Why they doing? You always thought they make the the holes in the ground to uh, dig up the nuts, which is that's what they do in the morning. But they're actually hiding them to eat it later. And then uh, I guess you see those little pockets in the soil is when they uh, say so he's digging in there. Having a good old time. He probably thinks I can't see him. There he goes. He's going up this tree here. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> there's nowhere to go, buddy. Where are you going? There's no. There's nothing that above this. <laughs> He's hiding. There he goes. Let's see if he goes on this tree here. There's sneaky. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, nut. So, uh, I suspect they're going up this tree. Maybe, you know, hiding their food. Hiding their food in the, you know, under the porch. But... Hi, Holly. They're, they're getting, getting calls for squirrels in the attic. There's really no conducive conditions other than overhanging trees. You know, that's the only way they can get into the house or power lines going to the house. They also get calls for bats, but bats, I gotta really assess how bats are getting in. They usually get in through the dormers. Also, Bats and squirrels are getting in this space here. There's the chew holes. They're making the hole bigger. Also, where they sharpen their teeth. 
They're going up. They're just playing. Playing around. See if we can catch them going up. That would be great. That would be great. Usually if you go first thing in the morning, like 6 in the morning, you can catch them coming in and out. He knows I'm here. He's got something in his mouth there chasing each other. He's probably eating right now. Nah. Oh. I don't know. I know how they're getting it though. They're going up on this peak. And I can see they're going under the soft. Most likely that's how bats are getting up there as well. So that needs to be capped off. I'm sure if I came at night I could probably address that. I'm going to take a picture of that and give that proposal to the landlord. Because uh, usually bats, it's kind of obvious how they're getting in. And also, there's a stealthier way they can get in as well. Like right here. Something you could easily miss if you don't pay attention. How oh, they're calling for each other. They're playing. See, they're, they're fighting. Oh, they're territorial. See how territorial they are? They're not really fighting. They're just kind of playing. They're playing. They're not even fighting. If, they were, if there was an alpha squirrel in the mix here, they'd be definitely after each other. Oh, they're so coming so close to me. Doesn't seem to care. I guess, I think people are feeding them. I think people feed them. So, what's going on up here is how bats and birds would get in. Right underneath the soffit. She did mention that on the phone about soffit. So, I think that needs to be netted off and uh, excluded for bats. And this as well. So, I'll note these two spots. Eh, he's like, he doesn't care. Look how close I'm getting to it. Look how close I'm getting to it. I think people feed these suckers. Someone feed them. Ah, how are you getting around? How are you getting around? Ha ha. Playing peekaboo with me. How's he doing that? How's he anticipate? How do you anticipate what I'm doing? You looking up, huh? Let's see where he goes. He's looking up. Come on, see if he see if I can catch him going up there. These these guys can climb straight up. There he goes. Here he goes. These guys can climb straight up. Siding. If they need to. See if I can catch him going to his home base. He's checking me out. Trying to catch him going to their home base. That would be good proof. I know how they're getting in now. I can tell. That peak over there. Also, there's some hidden spots. There's an addition. The porch. I can get under the gutters. Squeeze in, but I, I suspect... I suspect that top peak there, they're squeezing right in. It's easy for them to squeeze in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I could do trapping. I put traps on the roof. And I could put traps here. Since I see their activity, their movement, I could put traps, special traps on the ground here and monitor them daily. Special containers where people, you know, wild, other wildlife uh, won't get hurt. Let's see up here. 